All right, hey guys, it's Spitfire again. Today I'm gonna be polishing out the chamber on this barrel. Uh, what happened, this is a semi-automatic, and the guy, or one of my buddies that has this, he asked me to fix it for him, so I said, what the hell. Um, it, uh, the chamber is a little rough, and it's got some scratches in there from probably when it got jammed before, because this thing was a jam-o-matic. Uh, it's really dirty, which, never helps with automatics. People never clean them and they think they'll run forever, but they don't and they tend to jam. But on top of that, this one uh, has a really rough chamber. Um, so what I'm going to do today is stick it on the lathe and try and polish that out a little bit for him so he gets a little better extraction. Um, I can. There's visible scratches in there from, I don't know if somebody stuck a screwdriver or all or something in there, but and we're not gonna, we might not get them all the way out, but we're gonna try to just knock the edges down so when that brass gets extracted, it's not gonna get hung up on anything. So we'll, we'll see if I can get some close up shots. If not, uh, we'll set it up in the lathe and we'll get rolling here. All right, so there's a little picture inside the barrel chamber. Uh, if you can see that little mark in the chamber, that's part of a scratch. I couldn't get the, couldn't get it all the way in there, but so I'm gonna work on that and just try and give it an overall polish so uh, we'll stick it in the lathe here and get started all right so here we are set up on a lathe and I got this guy set up in my three jaw because it doesn't have to be perfectly concentric all I gotta do is basically spin that barrel and what I'm gonna use here is this is a wood dowel with a notch cut in the end so what you can do is get your sandpaper, or not your sandpaper, but your emery cloth. And I'm going to start out with 320 here and see how that ends, see how it works. So you stick it in there, and then you wrap it around clockwise. I'm going to take a little bit of this off because I got too much. Wrap it clockwise, because that's the way your barrel is spinning. And then we just turn it on, stick it in there. Pretty simple. I'm gonna go in the end here because I could have taken my receiver off, but I decided not to. So then all we're doing is basically sanding while well, we're starting off sanding it, and then it's gonna end up polishing it when you wear down some of that. Uh, emery cloth that will start to hone it. And I could have taken the receiver off, but I figured, well, you know, I got a wrench and a vise and everything, but this is a real taper here, and I could have stuck it back here, but I figured, well, I'll just leave it on there because I can do it this way. And if you can do it this way, it's just a fresh barrel, too, but usually ends up working pretty good. And all we're doing here is we're just polishing the, the walls of the chamber. We're not doing anything with the neck or the throat. That really has no big significance on extraction. And it sh in theory it should be in good shape anyways. But that's not always the case either. Pull this up. Let's see how we did here. Stop it. I only did it for a couple minutes, but it already looks ten times better. I can still see them little scratches in there, but it's been knocked down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to probably some 400 some 600 and polish it again so I'll take a break here and all right so now I got my 400 and this should be just a cleanup so I'm just gonna start it um, inside here so I don't have to um, spin it again. I'm just gonna double check um, if you can spin it usually as fast as you can spin your lathe this I don't have my my back speed in but uh, not my back speed, but my back pulley isn't in, so I can't crank it up real high, but it'll spin fast enough. 
And I was going to say, there is other products you can use for this. You can use, uh, crate, I think they're Kratex, uh, abrasive, they're kind of rubbery stones. I don't know how that's kind of the best way to describe them. They're kind of like, uh, I'd say they're like, almost like a uh, lapping compound embedded in kind of a rubberized material. And uh, those usually work really well. I kind of like those, but they cost a little more money than sandpaper. But um, when you're doing a barrel, you know, that the price of that is, ne you know, minimal. So those work really good. This works okay. I'd rather use a Kratex, but I don't have any right now. So that's another option to do it. Um, when I do it with the Kratex, I usually put it in a little uh, a drill or a dremel of some sort. And then you can kind of polish it out by hand, and you don't you don't do a lot, but you do I don't know maybe 30 seconds or a minute, and it usually polishes it up nice, makes it look good, and, and uh, never have any extraction problems. So that's another way to do it. So I'll get get rolling here on this guy. seconds here to kind of clean up. You see there is an edge at the bottom of the chamber there, but I'll clean that up too. So we'll, uh, I'll finish up here. I'll probably just do one more little pass, maybe a little, little finer sandpaper, and then uh, we'll see how it turned out. All right, so I just did a quick, uh, quick little pass with some 600 on there, and it uh, turned out pretty good can't see the scratches uh, with the camera here but there are still some scratches there on the, on the uh, left side of the chamber but um, other than them scratches it looks really good to me there you can kind of see one of them kind of right in the right in the center there on the left side they're still there but anyways that chamber looks a whole lot better and uh, what I'm going to do now is clean this thing up and uh, put it back together. And it should, sorry for my focusing, it should uh, function like a dream. <laughs> 